Yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky to work in film and television as a lawyer. It's quite an unusual um, privilege in some ways to work with creative people uh, and also have the kind of technical side. So I trained in a relatively traditional law firm. It had a number of um, media and entertainment clients, but I wasn't doing entertainment work. And whilst I was training, I got to go on secondment um, and I spent some time at Channel 5, which is one of the big public service broadcasts in the UK. And I loved the work. It was great. So I spent a couple of years working there in television. And then I moved to Clinton's, which is where I am now. Uh, and now I cover film and TV. So we do everything through from financing to production, working with talent, working with sales agents. Um, yeah, it's great. One of the key considerations for young filmmakers is ensuring the rights are properly acquired. Um, you spend, we were talking about this earlier, you spend so much time working on a film, you're invested in it emotionally, you've invested time, probably money, uh, and if you don't have the rights in to then go on and exploit that film, you're in a difficult situation. I think usually they're looking for more information about release forms, that comes up quite a lot nervousness over what they can or can't film, who they can or can't feature, and life rights is also a big one. People making documentaries about people, um, or feature films about people, and wanting to understand more about the rights they need to do that. I like decision making. Yeah. yeah. So one of the key uh, issues in, in collaboration when you're dealing with working with someone is how you make decisions uh, and how things happen. And if there's no tie break function and everything is mutual, mutual decision making, then it's really difficult for the project to go anywhere if the parties don't agree on something. And so it's crucial that there's some sort of tie break mechanism. So it might be that one party has final say over creative matters and another party has final say over business decisions. I would describe FEST as friendly, informative and welcoming. It strikes me that there are more people attending, a wider variety of people attending, that fulfill different roles and are getting into filmmaking in different ways. I think it's a really good festival for, uh, for people who are new filmmakers and people who are looking to build their connections and learn and grow as filmmakers. I think it's a really safe, nice space to do that in.